The wisdom of Bill Belichick was questioned by many when midway through the season he traded linebacker Jamie Collins, who was second-team All-Pro in 2015, to Cleveland for a conditional draft pick. The best defensive player we got, the most athletic guy on the team, is business. It's more of a business than it is football, so um, I don't know why it happened the way it did. I think it's kind of like, holy shit, I can't believe that just happened. A lot of guys didn't agree with it. All guys didn't agree with it. I don't think nobody did. You never know what Bill is thinking. But I know that every decision and every move that he makes, he always makes it for the best interest of the team. There's a reason why he's been so successful in, in what he's done. And, I mean, it's, it's hard to argue with it. Everyone's, like, looking around, like, am I next? Like, you just never know. And many up pretty bummed out they left. This is Pierre Thomas. Ball comes loose. Clock's run out. One of the most unbelievable finishes from one of the most unbelievable quarterbacks in the history of the NFL. Brady and the Patriots and Breeze and the Saints. Their first loss of this 2013 season. By the Browns offense to Little. Hit ball. Incomplete. Jamie Collins, the rookie outside linebacker. He was really great in that game against Denver. Jamie Collins on the comeback win here over the Broncos. Yeah, watch, watch as Alex Mack, the center, goes out and he's going to see this ball tipped. Watch Mack will come out. The ball's tipped by Collins as Collins is shadowing Jason Campbell in his eyes, and Mack knocks that ball away. Almost intercepted. That was Jamie Collins who jumped in front of Agnew. Jamie Collins again. Well, Jamie Collins is making a name for himself tonight. He comes on the blitz and goes right over the top of the attempted block by Donald Brown. Watch Brown go for the cut. You go for the cut, you got him. You can't do it in that situation. Luck looks left. Over the middle intercepted by Collins. Jamie Collins. What a game number 91 has turned in. Well, this time the Patriots are sitting deep. The safeties are way down the field, forcing everything in front of them. And then Collins, being the rangy linebacker, is going to cover a lot of ground. I mean, he looks like Ryan Erlacher getting back there that far from the line of scrimmage. Andrew Luck not anticipating a linebacker floating that far back from the line. And Andrew Luck with his third interception of the game. And Andrew Luck has now thrown six. On first down. Pass is batted away. And that's Jamie Collins who went from a seldom used rookie. Played only 20 some odd snaps in the first meeting. And now he's a difference maker on this defense. Yeah, he sure is. This is not pass interference. That is great timing by Jamie Collins. Fast, tall. Long arms, does it all. Had a tremendous interception last week. Dalton's been great with the ball security. So we'll get the second half kickoff. Over the middle, that's a nice game. And then it's dropped at the 29-yard line. Fumbled away. The Patriots have it. And inside the 10-yard line goes Denner. And he's going to be stopped at the 3-yard line. Off the fake to Jackson. Horton's pass is picked off. Intercepted by Jamie Collins. 
Set at second at 15. Here comes the blitz. Collins coming right after him. He hits the ground as Rogers gets taken down. Collins got back on his feet and made the sack. Four. Rivers under pressure, and he's going to get sacked. Coming through the middle is Jamie Collins. Michelle talking about him. He's going to be the signal caller with Hightower out tonight. The guard line. Blitz coming. Collins coming through and takes care of Rivers. Coming right through. You can see him. Comes up to the line. Again, they don't block him. Well, for one of the players who came over with some words of encouragement, Ivory dumped down right after he took the handoff. Second and nine. Play action from Geno Smith. And as he throws, it's intercepted. Picked off Jamie Collins. And then a pitch pick as they will mark it down at around the 40. Three-yard line. Second and eight. Orton under pressure. He loses the sack. Not the second time. Ball comes loose. Still loose. Who's got it? Patriots pick ball. Jamie Collins missed initially. Then got to Orton. Forced to fumble. What a season it's been for Collins. And then Collins recovering the football. Evan still rolling. Look at that protection for Flacco off play action. Going deep and it is incomplete. Flacco straight drop and then it's deflected and almost caught by Owen Daniels. But it was Jamie Collins getting get where the New England Patriots are. Third and five and Luck is intercepted again. It's Collins. He tries to hurdle over Luck. Jamie Collins with the interception. The second pick today by the Patriots. Stepping right in front of Tipton. Down in 10. Taylor. Oh, they come up the middle and they bring him down. Is it a safety? They call him down inside the one. That he's going to come away with points every time he touches the football. Great tackle. He'll knock that ball out of the hand of Tyrod Taylor. Second down, 15. Look at this one. Another loose ball. It's vacuumed in by LaShawn McCoy. First and 10 here. There's another one. They got him. Hightower and then coming through Malcolm Brown. The first round pick out of Texas. Eighth sack right there. Second and nine. Dump off to Randall, and McCourty's there, Collins is there. Different looks, and we saw one for the touchdown to Edelman. Second and seven, and Witten has lost the football. Was it ever a clean catch? I'm not sure that's going to hold up as a catch, but on the field, it looks like they're going to call it a fumble recovery. It's and Collins who reached in. Well, slow motion, it looks like he has it for enough time, but if you see it in regular speed, was it a catch and fumble? It's going to be close. Review the play. The ruling on the field stands as called. First down, New England. First and goal at the eight-yard line. And Gore's going to get stuffed. And that's Jamie Collins, who's about as athletic as any defender at any position in the National Football League. Yard line. Buck's first play is knocked away at the line of scrimmage. It's Jamie Collins to make it a six-point game. Look at Collins leaping over that. Of course, the ball would be in play now under the new rules, but it's out of bounds. So it's blocked. Collins is a phenomenal athlete. He was a triple jumper, high jumper. And he set the record at the combine, right? Is he the one that went like 11-7? and you saw it finally pay off. You say, why do they do the long jump at the combine? Look at this, we first saw this with Cam Chancellor, I believe it was, with Seattle in the playoffs maybe a year ago. If he makes contact with any of those offensive linemen, then I think it's a foul. But since he cleared everything, which of course he can do. <laughs> yep, he's a quiet kid from rural Mississippi. We said to him last night, you ever meet Brett Favre? He said, yeah. He said, because 
Plus, Cook, his agent, put him in touch with Far. Far says, why don't you come on over and fish in my pond? He said, I went over and I fished and I cleaned them out. Cleaned them out. Well, first play from scrimmage. Fitzpatrick on again. Ivory trying to get to the outside, and he is pushed down. Jamie Collins leading the charge for New England. He's left. Fitzpatrick gets out of trouble. And in bigger trouble, Collins buries him. Hightower, first man there. And that forced Fitzpatrick. Bradford on first down, tipped into the air, incomplete. Now Tony Ice. Barner spins the other way, and he's dropped for a big loss back to the 31 yard line. Third down run by Barner. Did he fumble the football? He fumbled the football, now he covered it up. Neck the football, and Kenyon Barner's fighting for extra yards, but what a great job ripping it out over the top. Barner's got to have two hands over this thing, but right there, I think that's Jamie Collins, 91. Look at the rip. See that? you got to have two hands and cover the football because that's all that matters at that point, not additional yardage. 10, play clock at 2. And this time he checks down underneath, and that is incomplete. Coverage there by Collins. Play clock down to one. Mariota on a third and seven. Look out! Mariota goes down. Jamie Collins busting through for the Patriots. It's a loss of eight. Well, look what Collins is looking at. He's got the tailback there, Antonio Andrews. And Andrews looking inside for Sheard. Goes after Sheard, leaves Collins with a beeline to the quarterback. This is a no-excuses team. Third and ten. Mettenberger steps up. Throws it. Wobbly ball. Intercepted. Jamie Collins. Down the sideline. Collins has speed. And brought down inside the Tennessee 20 by Sankey. Fired ball led by Marshall and Fitzpatrick. Third and five. Fitzpatrick loses the football. Ball is free. Jets trying to jump on it. They cannot. Jamie Collins scoops and scores for the Patriots. Yeah, New England looking for a big play, and they come up with it. Can Fitzpatrick get it to Marshall here? It's Powell. Cross it up and rolls to the sideline out of bounds. Yeah, but where he fumbled it is not going to be a first down. They bring it, this ball back. It'll be inside the 15-yard line. And Tompkins is down for the Jets. Jamie Collins made the play defensively on Powell. Ruling in the field is that the receiver caught the ball and fumbled it forward out of bounds. So we'll bring it back to the spot of the fumble, which is the 11-yard line. It brings up fourth down. So it's well short of the first down. Backed away. Nice defensive play. How about that pass defense by Jamie Collins? Down in 10. Ajayi. And pulling on the play is James. And the tackle is made. Low snap. And the rookie. And it's picked. Almost intercepted. Almost picked off by Jamie Collins, who's already got an interception this season. On first down. One time out left. Connor, look out, and he's going to go down with Jamie Collins and Hightower there, and they're a little shaken up and long. 46. Tannehill, under pressure, got rid of it, intercepted right in the middle of the field by Jamie Collins, and Collins returns it into Miami territory. Tannehill under pressure, and there was no one in the middle of the field except Jamie Collins, Chris Long putting the pressure on him. You're going to see Jamie Collins right here in the middle of your screen, the pressure on Tannehill. He's trying to get the ball up the field. Collins just reading his eyes off the, doesn't bite on the play fake at all, standing in the middle of the field. His arm got hit as he let go. Under pressure, throwing off your back foot, getting hit. Running backs, tight ends. First and 15. Jamie intercepted as Collins has the football for New England.
really typical defense, zone defense. It's called Tampa Bay started this back when they had that great team that won the Super Bowl. Watch Collins is going to turn, go back, and then intercept the end cut. He's really playing a deep safety. Reads the quarterback, turns. That was not a good idea. No, it was it never was there. Never there. Had to see that it was going to be split coverage, and I guess Osweiler just did not see Collins, who, you know, we've said a lot. He tried to just, I think he just tried to stick it in there and make a great throw. He's going to keep it. Have nowhere to go. He lost the ball. The pileup is at the 25-yard line. We'll take a look here. Is he, does he know where to go to the outside? Well, the Patriots had a shot at it.